Now, this was past me last night. I was talking to Failure, and he's like, uh, did you know that Cog fucked a 14-year-old girl? And I was like, no, I, I didn't know that, actually. Uh, so he went to get me the video to pull up. Cog the pedophile. He went to get me the video to pull up, and the channel had been deleted. Not by choice, mind you. It had been taken down by reports. And Cog's brother has actually been on my show before. That's not Cog's brother. That actually is Mr. Girl. I thought that was Cog's brother at first. But that's Mr. Girl because they, they're they comparing Cog to Mr. Girl is, uh, is the idea there. Cog's brother has been on my show. Video gone from YouTube because the channel got, got banned. Now, in it, now, I've heard two different stories. Either his brother or a friend of his talking about it and saying that his brother was a wit, you know, like knew that this happened basically as well. So we're trying to locate Cog's brother. Uh, that's the long and short of it. We want Cog's brother back on the show, and we want to hear about what he did with the 14-year-old. Yeah, honestly, I didn't know that was Mr. Girl either, but that's actually him. They did it as a joke to compare with Cog. So that's what that was. Now this, somebody uh, sent me a text. Okay, let's see. A bake's in for tomorrow too. So he's in for the super snipe. We'll see if we can get some other people. Somebody sent me a message last night and said, heard you might be looking for this audio of Cog's brother, sir. They sent me a text anonymously. I get shit like this sometimes. Because my number is known. So they sent me that. <sighs> Shout out to the Wu-Tang Clan, by the way. Let's play this because I don't know what it is. I haven't heard it yet. I see if you can let this fly, bitch. I remember when I was with my ex-girlfriend living here. Uh, and This is Cog's brother, by the way, not Cog. And Johnny thought he could just come over with an Johnny. underage girl. No! Wait a minute. This is Cog's brother. Oh, man. Thank God. We have the, Can we just give a round of applause? We have the best fans. We have the best fans. Shout out Hebrew Jeebies. I don't know if you I got your song played yesterday. Now I think about it. I'm sorry about that. So this is Cog's brother. He's blood related to Cog. He's his brother. I think they may be half brothers, but I'm not sure about that. They are blood related though. We had him on the show. Let's have a little listen. I see if you can let this fly, bitch. I remember when I was with my ex-girlfriend living here, uh, and Johnny thought he could just come over with an underage girl and uh, thought I'd never find out that she was underage and 14 years of age. And he brought this girl. I thought she was 18. He told me she was 18, right? So I'm thinking she's 18. Well, no problem. She's legal. She can hang around my house, right? Come to, come to the end of their relationship and yeah. then I have her on Facebook telling me how much she's 14 and he knew about it and he's a disgusting fuck up basically what so yeah that's really it that's all I can really say I don't really I know she had red hair I don't even know her name I can't remember it happened so long ago it was like a good 10 years ago I'd say but this guy well, Cog is my age by the way so like 10 years ago he's still almost like he's like 27 28 probably like, Cog's about my age. Maybe even a little bit older than me. Clearly, I has no problem with fucking 14-year-olds. for you. I None at all. And he was. He was seeing her for a bit. So definitely fucking her. Guy even tried to take her out for a drink with us, and I was like, where's her ID? Do you remember that, Johnny? Remember, David remembers that. You know, your older brother, he came with us. He knows who I'm talking about. Right? So don't sit there trying to pretend, pretend I'm making it up, which you're probably going to do, but no. I'm not making it up, you fucking pedo. You're a nonce, mate. Right? And I caught you out. Yeah? I'm the eyewitness to your nonce behavior. And I had to hear this poor girl feeling sad that she's basically been raped by you. You fuck up. Because that's what it is, Johnny. You know when you fuck an underage girl, it's rape. Because you're fucking a child that doesn't know any better. Do you understand that? 
And the only thing that really should have happened is you should have been put in prison, you prick. <laughs> but no. This is Cog's brother. Keep this in mind. She fucked off, got on with her life, whatever she's doing, I don't even know. But I just thought I'd just let everybody know what kind of a fuck up you're following. He is not Mr. Virtue. And, and you know, to use my dad's death to do this, what a sicko. You are a fucked up guy, mate. You need to quit what you're doing and go home. Call it a day. Understand that there is no, lo no longer can you upset me. I am cold to you now, mate. There is no feeling for you anymore. You don't look like a brother to me. You look like a pain in my fucking life that I need to get rid of before you make a new problem for me. And it's every fucking day with your cunt ass. One day it's something else. It's always some drama. You're a drama queen. And I'm sad that you're like that. I wish you would stop. Because I'm completely ashamed of you. Wow. And I don't know what my mother thinks right now, but you've obviously worded her up and sweet talked her. And you know, bad mouth. Me. Man sent $5 Kaga Pito. Worski messaging underage girls on Snap. PPP banging underage boys. Judas messaging underage girls. Plenty of others. Why does this keep happening? Why do our enemies keep turning out to be pedophiles? I... It's startling at this point. Poison the well as usual. That's what you do. One thing I realized about my, my great brother, Johnny Cog, is that all he ever does all my fucking life is go around muddying the waters, making everybody think that I'm the shithead when he himself is the shithead. This nigga tries to act like he can fucking talk to my family. Excuse the N-word, but he does. He acts like he can, he can talk to my family. Well, excuse me. And tell them what I'm thinking. And then badmouth me at the same time and well, think I don't it. notice. Yeah, you better stop speaking for me and my family, you little shit. Because I care about my family. <laughs> I just don't care about you. Because you're a monster who just needs locking up, to be <laughs> honest. you got mental health issues. I advise you seek a therapist, little boy, and stop begging it that I'm supposed to be giving a single fucking shit if you lift a strike or give me a strike. I don't fucking care. Yeah, he struck his channel or whatever. affect me. Okay. By the way, Cog took down his brother's channel and he tried to cry about me following the DMCA. There, that you're a piece of shit and everyone needs to freaking well know it. You disgusting little nonce. And I hope your girlfriend's listening and understands that I am not lying. I'm telling the fucking God's honest truth. And if you were a man... His girlfriend left him after this. Johnny one. Cog, whoever the fuck you call yourself, you faker, you would actually admit it was true. And, you know what, you'd actually admit that this whole situation started with you not being able to take it, that I didn't want to work with you, after you'd already basically fucking warned, tried to force me to work, do what you wanted. Bulldozing your way through, telling me I can't be on my own songs, but you want to be all over them. Fuck you. You have no respect for the work I do. Or me. I don't need to respect you or care about you at all. What? Which world do you live in where you can disrespect people and then they're just going to suddenly go, oh, it's all okay now. I've gotten over it. No, that's it now. There's far too much water under the bridge. There's no way of getting over this. There's no way. Yeah, we followed the breakup. He was getting cut. Life and not have some sort of fuck up grievance like you always do anyway. You're always a cunt to me, even when we're on good terms, Johnny. Let's be fucking honest. You're always a cunt to me, always bad mouthing me. You always want the link? Sure. Like shit, belittling me and trying your best just so you can prop yourself up because you've got low self esteem issues. You Here try goes the and link. ride on my self esteem by putting me down, bitch. Well, no, you won't. That's the end now. All you can do now is, well, fuck off and go piss off and get a job why don't you i mean what did you tell me you said if if all this goes to shit and i get my channel shut down i'm gonna go get a real job and live in the house with my girlfriend right well you go and do that johnny i hope you fucking do because it'll stop you talking shit about me on the internet like you think you can and it'll also stop you getting delusions of grandeur because you're a nobody mate absolutely nobody desperately holding on to your last bit of fans that give a shit about you, who I'm hopefully going to make realize 
are fucking fans of a nonce. <laughs> okay. So put that in your pipe and smoke it, little shed. I'll see you when I see you. Hopefully, I never will ever again. Hopefully. Based. For your sake. Oh. Okay. See you later. Oh, by the way, new song coming out soon. It'll be on another channel because this one's going to get striked to fuck if I ever put anything up. Proof that Johnny's full of shit as well. Because, you know, if I don't give him what he wants, which he obviously wants me to do, is lift his strike so he can get his channel back. Thinks he thinks he's being, being the nice guy. You're not. You've been forced into a corner, and now you've got to fucking do something to, to make me do something for you, and you're a stupid idiot to think I'd even want to do that. Are you a dumb guy or what? You can't guilt me into doing things, mate, after you've fucked over me and treated me like dirt. No, bitch. It's time for you to take a taste of your own medicine. Okay? So I'll be making new songs on a new channel away from this one. If it gets flagged down, you know who did it. Mr. Virtue Signal, who's trying to pretend like you're so, so peaceful. No, you're blowing smoke up my ass, pissing on my back, telling me it's raining. Same kind of shit. That's what you're doing. And I'm not dumb enough to sit there and go, oh, it's raining. Oh, wow. Thanks, Johnny, for taking the strikes away that you never should have put on my channel in the first place. You retard. God, you're stupid. And you are. God, I looked at that counterclaim and I was in shock. Oh, how dumb you really are. You threatened YouTube with, kill you're going to go on a fucking flagging spree, are you, Johnny? Well, that's a good way to get yourself banned from Google. I'm sure that, you know, legal team of YouTube will be very happy to hear about that. They're not going to hear about it. <laughs> just for you, so you can learn why you He's shouldn't flagging be his own brother. big organizations that you're trying to get a case with. Okay? Good. I'll see you whenever. Hopefully, never. <laughs> Hopefully, never. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.